that appellate court does not have the power to modify the sentence in spite of sustaining the conviction. My, my suggestion is that the finding is the erroneous, your lords, not as per the record. What finding? There uh, is no. The, of the session judge, your lords, can we see the finding? judge has confirmed the finding. So mental to hua hai na? Mental to hua hai na. Bhoot tara ka mental to hua. Or physical bhi hua. Maar rahe hai, pati se bille nahi de rahe hai. Pati se alag kaam karwa rahe hai, alag room hai. That has come in the evidence. Restitution of conjugal rights file kar dena. Mera husband gunga bahra hai. Uske saath meri shadi kar di gai. Aapne to shadi aap khol pe kiya na? Against the conviction will it? The opposite party number two, who is the con, has preferred the appeal before the sessions court will. And the sessions court needs to modify the sentence, setting aside the conviction, amounting rupees one lakh. Conviction set aside? No. Mm, or the modified. sentence modified? Sentence was modified. Conviction has not been set aside. Criminal appeals were dismissed. Only with this modification that. In the sentence part only that one lakh rupees. Yes, appeal has been disposed of by modification of sentence. Yes, one lakh. One lakh. Yes. My humble submission is your words that the 498A punishment is three years and fine. And under section 386. Of the CRPC or not, the power of the appellate court says, and with the permission of your lordship, may I permitted to read this in CRPC against the conviction. What the learned sessions has, has to do. Yes, read please. Well, 386B, your Lord said, since the appeal was from a conviction, one, reverse the finding and sentence and acquit or discharge the accused. So it has not been done, your Lord said. Or order him to be retried by a court of competent jurisdiction subordinate to such appellate court or committed for trial. This has also the finding. Done. And Malad. sentence. Malad. Reverse the finding and sentence. He can he can sustain the conviction and modify the sentence. Malad. Reverse the finding first. The not learning. necessarily. Malad. Then uh, they. You see, we will not say that he does not have the power to modify the sentence. Malad. He power. has got the power to but, every. But 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 the finding is required to be reversed. Not and necessarily. The, and the, and not the finding of the learned not session necessary. judge. Not necessary. That says the law itself. Will. Not one. Every case we find that the appellate court is Man. modifying the sentence. Man. Right? So please don't ask me to pass such a judgment. Man. That appellate court does not have the power to modify the sentence in spite of sustaining the conviction. My, my submission is that the finding is the erroneous, your lords, not as per the record. What finding? There is uh, no. The, of the session judge, your lords, can we see Sessions the finding? judge has confirmed the finding. No, confirm the sent conviction. Confirm the con conviction. Is, Only modified the sentence. Conviction para nine, para nine of the impugn judgment, your lord. Okay. Let us see. Para nine. Mal. The complainant was married with the younger brother you of the You read para eight also. My lord. You read para eight also. Lord, sir. In this case, two separate petitions have been filed on behalf of the accused appellant Manmohan Sahu. It is stated that instead of hearing the criminal appeals on merit, it may be decided by way of modification of sentence. It is further submitted that the appellant is ready and willing to pay rupees 50,000 each in both the criminal appeals. That is an amount of rupees 1 lakh. It is argued that the main grievance of the complainant is that she has been neglected by her brother-in-law. It is further submitted that the accused appellant Manmohan Sahu is bearing all the expenses of young, his younger brother, husband of the complainant, and a lenient view may be taken in view of the facts as well. It is further stated that the appellant remained in judicial custody in both cases. 
Correct this, or not correct? This is, this is the no, my lord. This he, is not correct. He did not remain in judicial custody even for one day. My lord, I am not saying only in respect of the judicial custody. I am no, no. These facts may not be correct. Man. But his submission was that only the sentence be modified. Man. He did, he never wanted any adjudication on the merits of the case. He just prayed that the sentence be modified. And then he also said that some justification he has given, whatever, right. that he was maintaining the husband of the company. <coughs> and then he said that the appellant has remained in judicial custody in both the cases, right? So has he remained in judicial custody even for one day or not? Well, if he I has know. not remained in judicial custody even for one yes, day, yes, well, he has remained. He in has remained. Custody. Yes, very. Right. Then what else? You say that the judgment has been reversed. Yes, Lord, thereafter, thereafter, Lord, para 9. Okay. There is erroneous finding, your Lord, sir. What erroneous finding? My Lord, I am submitting, your Lord, sir. The complainant was married with the younger brother of the appellant, Manmohan Sahu, in the year 1982 up to that year 2003. That is, for long 21 years, she was not having any complaint. This is the erroneous finding, your Lord, sir. That would be clear from the perusal of the judgment of the trial. You see, the court has not entered into the merit of the case. The court has only modified the sentence. Yes. Whatever was the judgment. But my humble submission no, is your Lordship. Whatever with the discussion, Lordship. the import of the order is only modification. Modification, yes. right? And I am aggrieved by this. Your so now you tell, you confine yourself that how are you aggrieved my by this modification of the I am aggrieved, my Lord, since the torture which I got twice by the hands of the that cannot be compensated by the compensation you know that is my humble submission. They are not compensating it, they are modifying the sentence. Yes, yes. but I am dissatisfied due to that reason and for that purpose will kindly see the judgment of the learned trial court Millard. that not requires the modification at all you know. You have taken the money or not taken the money? Not. I have not taken your lordship. Please. Page 33 of my petition, your lordship. Last paragraph. Almost, almost all the PW submitted before the court that there was dispute between Janki Devi and her in-laws. Here it is important that most of PWs are independent witness. The statement of informant well corroborated with the FIR, IO of the case, well established the place of occurrence, which is at Bhandra, near to Lohardaga Bhandra Main Road. So far as regard to section 498A is concerned, it is necessary that cruelty must be caused by the in-laws. PW6, PW9, PW11, PW12, PW13 all submitted before the court that there was mark it was going on to the Janki Devi by her in-laws. PW13 submitted that Janki Devi came and so marked of injury caused by mark it by her in-laws. Further victim of the case Janki Devi said that she was not allowed to talk with her husband which was well supported by the PWs, which was further supported by DW. DW in his cross-examination submitted that Janki Devi want to live with her in-laws, but she was not permitted to live with her husband. The statement of DW1 strengths the prosecution case that Janki Devi was not allowed to live with her husband against her will by her in-laws. Depriving any woman not to live with her husband is also a kind of torture. In this prosecution, able to establish the factum of cruelty caused to Janki Devi by her in law, so far as regard to section 354 of IPC is concerned, none of the prosecution witnesses witness had submitted that Manmohan Sau had also outraged the modesty of the Janki Devi. Hence, prosecution has failed to establish the factum of outraged the modesty. So far as regard to section 3 of the DPF concern, none of the prosecution witness said before the court that whether any thing was given at the time of marriage, his prosecution has failed, has also failed to establish the this aforesaid section. So far as regard to section 4 of the DP Act is concerned, demand of dowry is to be made to the guardian, parents, other relative, bride or bridegroom. It is the settled law is that demand so must be the, there is no allegation of demand of dowry. 
That is why there is an acquittal under section under the provisions of dowry uh, provision. Lots. There is no allegation of demand of any property. Man. Therefore, the only allegation is that there was assault. Just a moment. There was assault, Man. and she was not permitted to live with her husband. Reason behind this, your lord. No, whatever be the reason. Man, this is the reason finding. is very important, your lord. This it is the finding. Normally, my lord, no, no, no. having no role in such no, cases. We will not. But go in to this case, extent. but in this case, no, no, that is the matter of record, my lord. My husband is dumb and deaf, and due to that reason, I have not been permitted to meet with, with my husband, your lord. See, since there would be the issue, and he will be the co-sharer, and due to that reason, I have tortured in this manner, your lord. See. And thereafter they have brought me, and after brought again they have done same act your lordship, and for that another case has been instituted in which he has been also convicted against you again your lordship, and in which SI for one one and half years has been sentenced and five thousand fine your lordship, and against which and the common order has been passed by modifying sentence in both cases. प्रॉपर्टी और मनी और एनीथिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन बी Hmm. 486. 498. 498. नहीं उसमें हमारा नहीं ए में है एक हम निकाल लेते हैं हां ए में है जो ए में है ना मैं एनी विलफुल कंडक्ट व्हिच इज ऑफ सच ए नेचर and is likely to drive the women to commit suicide aisa to koi finding nahi hai nahi finding nahi hai jo ab hum to nahi kiye hum majboot the hum lade rahe theek ab majboot the lade aur 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 rah kar ke phir not a case for and and to cause injury or danger limb life health whether mental or physical to mental to hua hi na mental to hua hi na bahut tarah ka mental torture aur physical bhi hua maar rahe hain pati se milne nahi de rahe hain पति से अलग काम करवा रहे हैं अलग रूम में दैट हैज कम इन द एविडेंस यू ऑफ कंजुगल राइट्स फाइल कर देना चाहिए मेरा हस्बैंड गुंगा बहरा है उसके साथ मेरी शादी कर दी गई आपने तो शादी आप खुद की की है ना अब अब हमारा हस्बैंड लॉ है क्या कि गुंगा बहरा रेस्टिट्यूशन ऑफ कंजुगल राइट का तब हम पिटीशन फाइल करते हो हुजूर जब मेरा हस्बैंड नहीं रखता हमको तब ना करते हो हुजूर यहां तो वो केस ही नहीं है कि हमारा हस्बैंड नहीं रख रहा है तो हम जा करके पिटीशन करेंगे आपको क्या बोलना है इन दिस केस में माय ओनली सबमिशन प्रोसेस वुड बी दैट ऑल द बुकिंग विटनेसेस वर एग्जाम हस्बैंड इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द विटनेस हु शुड हैव बीन द बेस्ट पर्सन टू सपोर्ट द केस ऑफ द कंप्लेंट ही हैज नॉट बीन एग्जाम हस्बैंड हैज नॉट बीन वो तो आई नहीं है मन को कहां से एग्जाम हो सारा से होता है गुंगा का भी रीजन है ना नहीं तो आप डीडब्ल्यू के रूप में नहीं लाए हैं हम कह रहे हैं आपका केस नंबर वन नंबर टू देर इज नो इंजुरी एट ऑल डॉक्टर हैज नॉट बीन एग्जाम नो चीट ऑफ पेपर बिफोर दी कोर्ट टू डी यू से थिंक दैट दे इज सी वाज थ्री एट्टी सिक्स में भी पावर है सेंटेंस के मुझे लाइक and it is not a case that there has been no period of custody us to raha hai custody custody mein rakhi hai teen mahina dono case mein ha jaanta hai there is no dispute wo sab dekh ke hi kiya gaya ye welfare nahi chahte hai criminal revision number 271 of 2019 thank you lord sir the appearance jo raha hai inka appearance record kar do na this revision has been filed challenging the judgment dated 13 2017 passed by learned sessions judge lohar dagga in criminal appeal number 13 of 2014 whereby the conviction has been upheld but sentence has been modified 
the petitioner is the informant of the case. The appellate court, while dismissing the appeal, has directed, has modified the sentence and has directed the petitioner to pay an amount of rupees 50,000 for the case being Bhandra PS case number 29 of 2003, trial number 42 of 2014. Parties that the petitioner has some two BK capital A. Sorry? Being the brother in law. Brother in law of the petitioner was convicted of an element. Also, by giving the background it's on record that, that uh, she has been deprived. That's right. We have, we have read the finding. DW1 I've examined on behalf of the, the Learned Council appearing on behalf of the opposite party number. So, it cannot be said. Paragraph 13. Now, so far, I did.